Once again, we're back looking at the life behind the walls of one of the largest modern military roleplay groups on Roblox. Our interviewee for today is General Zenin Boria, the Commanding General of the Training and Doctrine Command in Zanus's USAR. Hi, my name is Zenin Boria. I am the Commanding General of TRADOC. I have been in USAR, or Zan's USAR, for, well, I've been in it since 2019, but I don't necessarily count it since I wasn't there for a long period of time. So I guess my beginning journey was January of 2021. Um, I joined Zan's USAR. I thought it would be a really good opportunity for me to meet new people. And, you know, there's a big crowd of people. So I thought it would, you know, kind of just be a really new start for me and i've never really been in roblox communities so this is kind of like my first but you know first starters <laughs> wow um <laughs> it's a really big commitment honestly i i feel like there's a lot of pressure on me at times but you know having all these people look up to me it's it's a really big honor and you know, we all start somewhere. I was a drill sergeant myself, obviously. And, you know, I've grown up since then and it feels like a big warming up to and I've met a lot of new people, but leading TRADOC has been one of the best experiences I've ever had. <laughs> I, there has always been good and bad in all of it. There was like always times where people would um, <laughs> joke around with me and honestly, like there was a point of time where people would simp for my voice and it didn't go away until probably until I became high command. But being enlisted, it's so much fun. Like honestly, if you're an enlisted personnel, have fun with it. Being an officer, it honestly, like you have a lot of like things going on. You have a lot of people looking up to you and you have a lot of responsibility. So just have fun with it until you become, you know, one of the top Gs. But I honestly still have fun to this day. I love interacting with personnel, but it's it can be a lot of times. I've always loved my upcoming into CG overall. Um, it's, I mean, I have a job, I have school. I have a lot of things. I'm, I plan on going into the military pretty soon. Well, not very soon, <laughs> but in the next year, it it's definitely a lot. It, managing it, it's it, it can be done, you know? It's possible, you know, you have to make do with it. And as long as you're there and as long as you're present, that's really all that matters. And you, you gotta work hard for it. But I do believe that as long as you're here it brings a lot of like just being here just brings a lot you know so i try my best i do my best and i plan on continuing that until yeah my words. i think it would have to be just meeting new people you know i've met people that i still talk to this to this day that have resigned and it's incredible like how many connections you can make. So 
my best moment would just being creating new friends, long lasting friends. And I've been here for like a year or more even. <laughs> Gonna probably hit two years even. But it's it's been an awesome journey and my best moment is just meeting the people that I care about a lot. Um, probably not, but if my host had... Okay, so the story is my host didn't send me any of the, like, things to enter. And I think all he, like, or she, I don't... I can't think it was a guy, but... I think all, like, he did was just send me the Discord links. And I didn't know where to go from there. I didn't know... Like, hell, I didn't even know where, what school I was in. Like, is it called Airborne School? Like, <laughs> oh my God. I honestly don't know much about Force Gum. And it wasn't like the b experience was bad. Like, I loved the trial. My, my host was amazing. You know, shout out to him, I guess. But <laughs> he didn't really um, know what to do, or um, I didn't know what to do either. So it was a lot. But I would have honestly sk stayed in Force Gum. It would have been a good time. I probably wouldn't stay there for the longest. I've always wanted to be in Trade Hawk. I felt like that was the most elite command. So. All right, so my most embarrassing moment in USAR, probably my username at the time. My old username was WarriorGirl709, and <laughs> I didn't change the username until probably uh, my time as like staff. So people still like to rub it in the dirt, and I think of it as an embarrassing like thing in general. It's not really a moment, but it happens so frequently when people bring it up. <laughs> so <laughs> it's um. It's definitely something, but I mean, it's nothing too special. I can't really think of anything else that like really is um, in my brain at the moment, but that's kind of the most embarrassing thing <laughs> that uh, has happened in my experience as USAR in USAR. Mm, the general community, I think it. Oh, it, it kind of varies. There's good people and there's bad people. You know, uh, there will always be sort of like some sort of situation that's going on. Or, I mean, in my command and you know my experience, uh, overall, Tradeoff has been very welcoming. You know, we're um, as a command, we never have issues that are revolving around just you know anything like that, anything bad. Um, I try to make sure that my command is as clean as possible, and you know, there's no bad people in it. But um, you know, if I go into like a USR chat room, it could be a little weird at times, but uh, you know, sometimes it's uh, funny. Sometimes I try not to interact with a lot of people outside my command because you know, you never really know. <laughs> so that's kind of all to it. <laughs> kind of just varies on the person and where you're at. I mean, once again, it kind of just varies on the person, you know, um, if you love to lead, if you love to teach others and really get into the backbone of USAR, because our command, you know, we would <laughs> we would be nothing without it, really. These people were, were training future leaders, were training future uh, commanding generals, even, you know, I, <laughs> I used to be an E1, you know, I'm sure any of the commanding generals were E1s as well. So... It's amazing how far you'll see people go and I love to like help and teach and if you love helping and teaching it definitely fits you know so if you're capable of it if you're able to handle the hard work and you want to be a part of something that's incredible then yeah I mean definitely go for it because we are a very supportive community and we appreciate anyone that comes in and we always try to give rewards to everyone that works hard in our command. I mean, in general, I'd say 8.5 out of 10, you know? <laughs> sometimes there will be bad things and sometimes there will be good things. Overall, good things will happen. Uh, people are wonderful. I love the people on this command, but there's always going to be a few bad apples here and there, whether that's in my command or whether that's in different commands, who knows. But uh, I'd say overall, the community's pretty safe. If you're 
below the age of 15, I'd probably recommend no. <laughs> You'd have to have a excellent grammar and uh, intelligence even, common sense, stuff like that. If you really like the army and if you feel connected to it and you want to do it in the future, future or um, you just want to be a part of a community that's kind of like huge and connective towards each other, definitely uh yeah so 8.5 out of 10 for that one it just kind of varies on the person really <laughs> and that was general zenin warrior on zanin's use of a big like this big <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> um uh wow that is like jeez. <laughs> but um I'm like stuttering a lot <laughs> or like trying to think while trying to talk, but ooh, <laughs> my best moment. Oh my goodness. I think that would just like, I th oh my goodness. I keep like messing with my words. <laughs> ooh. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to redo that question because I messed up the math and it sounds. So like, I think I joined. <laughs> Oh. Hmm. <laughs> um. Or in this uh, army, really, in general, but. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it would be kind of. um. There's like kind of. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> hmm. That's interesting. Um. Let me. 